yet another way to do a mind map. In the first video I talked about one way of doing a mind map was to go to insert shapes and then here when I clicked on shapes you can individually draw your mind map. But another way in which you can draw a mind map, if you don't have the time to put it together yourself, is just go to Smart Art. And here, if you click on Smart Art, you will get a list of different kinds of graphics that you can have. You can have listing. So if you like to do the listing, uh, pre-writing, in which you list a whole bunch of things, main ideas, you could draw a listing kind of pre-writing. If you like more of a process, like what is the writing process? And so I remember when I wrote up the uh, writing process, let's, let's do, we, then, then you could use this one, so I'll do this one. So if I wanted to write, see how it's, it's, so here the writing process consists of pre-writing, writing, and rewriting. So if you're going to be writing about a process, like the writing process, for instance, okay? So if I'm going to write about the writing process, then I can use this kind of very easy graphic, and it looks really good in your Microsoft Word document, and then I can put this into the classroom as the writing process. Now if I want to make another, um, I would go to Insert, I would go to Smart Art, and let's say I want to do it for my paper. And so I want to do the um, mind mapping. So I have many different choices of, look at this, there's so many different choices of what kind of, it all depends on how you think, you know? Some people think like this. And so here, if I want to do a cycle, this one is the one that's most commonly used uh, in um, your, for your paper. So here I would click on this, and then here in the middle, okay, I'm not going to type in an actual thesis. You would write in your thesis statement with the three reasons. And then here you have your reason one. You're going to have reason two. You're going to have reason three. And then you're going to have your conclusion. Will you restate that? So that pretty much wraps up your, so it's really very easy to do a mind map um, doing it this way. So if you don't have the time to find the shapes and the arrows and the way I did it like that, and all the arrows line up instantaneously, then you go to insert smart art. Okay, so you gotta remember, insert smart art and then process or cycle. I believe that what you want is cycle. Okay, so insert smart art cycle. Those are the three things. And let's explore. We could also do hierarchy. Okay, you can also do relationship. These are these are pretty cool. And that includes your Venn, the Venn diagrams that you had to do for I think it was last week. This is a Venn diagram. You could also have a matrix. You could have a pyramid. Okay, so I'm going to use this pyramid to talk about the three parts of an introduction of a conclusion paragraph. So in a conclusion, conclusion paragraph, we restate the thesis as the first, um, the first sentence, then we summarize the paper in five sentences, and then after that, we give a prediction. We give a prediction or recommendation to the reader of what takeaway lessons they learned from your essay. And, if I, and that would be for the conclusion paragraph. If I wanted to do this one, oops, I this. If I wanted something else, like if I, I just made it upside down, that would be the um, introduction paragraph. So if I wanted to use another smart art and I wanted to use it the opposite that's what I was aiming for. I was aiming for opposite, and it went in the other direction. Okay, anyway, so if I want to do the opposite, then in the opposite, this would be your introduction paragraph, you have your hook, you have your five sentence origin story. What I mean by that is something, five sentences that gives context to your thesis statement. 
and then you end your introduction with a thesis statement. So that's going to be your introduction. So um, that pretty much. But anyway, the scope of this video is to show you all the different ways that you can uh, use uh, graphs or mind map to visualize whatever kind of information you want to <coughs> give to the reader or, and for a teacher to give to her students. So in this one video, I taught you that the writing process is pre-writing, writing, and rewriting. I taught you that this is your five paragraph essay structure, where you have your thesis statement that's in the middle, reason one, reason two, reason three, which is part of the thesis, then your conclusion. Your introduction is going to be your hook, your five sentence origin story, and your thesis statement. And then after this, if I can, if I can do this, insert, so you go to insert, smart art, you go to uh, either hierarchy, you can have relationships, you can have a matrix, you can have a pyramid, and you could have this one, that's what I was trying to do earlier. And so while your introduction paragraph is more like an upside down um, in, in triangle, so that's why it's called the funnel introduction paragraph. So here I wanted my, my conclusion. In my conclusion, I restate the thesis as the first sentence. And then I summarize the essay. And then I give the takeaway lesson. So I'm not going to beleaguer the point. You can even make it look uh, funky. Like, isn't that, isn't that funky? Yeah, that's pretty funky. Or I could make it and you know click on this. So you can play with it in many different ways. And obviously this doesn't match. I can make this a little bigger so that it covers the word. Or I can make this font smaller. But I'll play around with that later. So there are many different ways in which you can use smart art. So it's insert and smart art. And this will give, this is the key to all the different graphs and all the different ways in which you can use mind mapping and clustering for your paper. And they have so many different ways in which you can create so many different kinds of graphs. Uh, ad, ad, ad nauseum, you know, as many as you want. You can spend all day on this. I, and, uh, at least I could. You know, if I had the time, this would be so much fun for me to spend all day creating graph after graph. As you could tell, I had fun doing this once I got the hang of it, one after, one after the other. But obviously, we don't have that much time. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me.